right, all right. Oh, shit. Let me put my thing on. Now you got the music on. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there we go. All right, you ready? What did you say? We keep on. <laughs> now you went to my field. <laughs> hey, this is crazy. You can't turn it off? Yeah, what is it? Like music? It's just weird. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to restart my video. No, 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 because we can edit it. I know, but <laughs> <coughs> what right. is that? All right, we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, man, we're gonna start with volleyball dad. <laughs> volleyball dads going in three, two, one. All right, y'all, volleyball dads podcast sets and hits. That's right, it's your boy Spurgeon Dame. We somewhat live. We're, we're you know testing out our <laughs> video operation here. <laughs> So y'all may not see this one, but we might just post it as uh, some kicks. Yeah, so bloopers. Yeah, yeah, you'll <laughs> see it. So uh, we're recording this uh, now also on video, so we'll post it to YouTube and yeah. have a link in our Instagram. But anyway, man, how's it going? Uh, you know, we uh, first qualifier, I think, hit off. Yeah. For you 17s at least, I yeah, think, yeah. and some 15s maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Up in Minneapolis and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, I think it may have been even some younger kids, right? No, nah, 15s. 17s and 18s. Oh, 15, 17, 18. Okay, great. Yep. Up in Minneapolis as well. So, uh, man, it was a deep pack up there as it well. Was, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It was. It was. It was high level. Yeah. When we get the elephant out the room, we know you came in fourth. Uh, <laughs> you know, as always, you know, damn. But at least you got three out the way and three heavy hitters out the way too. So uh, uh, yeah, on. I mean. Yeah, they are who they are. Uh, congrats to the Skyline one, right? Yeah, they Skyline won. seventeen were all in Houston, and then um, Idaho Crush. Idaho Crush came in second, second. right? And yeah, they didn't even play hard in the championship. Really? Mm. I guess you know once they figure out they got bid. Mm. Sometimes I, that's what happened with them top two teams. Once you figure out you got bid, you don't, you don't race for it no more. And then the third team was um, Minnesota Sting. Minnesota Sting. Yeah. So. That's all right, man. Y'all, y'all got there. No, I, I, yeah, it, but you know what? I watched the. Uh, I only saw the score because I was, um, I think, watching championship games or NFL. But uh, <laughs> and couldn't see y'all live. But they were all. I mean, three setters. Uh, one, one three setters. But one went yeah. thirty-one twenty-nine. Yeah, we were up twenty-four to twenty-one. Wow. So that one should have. Yeah. At minimum, it should have gone that three. Hurts. Yeah. Um, and. Um, that's that's when you know the small mistakes that you mm -hmm. got to clean up. Um, right. That's the difference between good and great. Yeah. And um, I, you saw a lot of good things. Yeah. Um, you know. It's early. It's still early. I mean, think about it. this is uh, January, man. Ain't no excuse. <laughs> well, nah. No, we don't never make excuses, but nah. January and coming in fourth is not bad. Just that you know, it, it, it just means that the you, next you one you're still have to You'd go. rather come in eighth. Like yeah, when you that close. I heard that. Yeah, yeah, I heard. If you say, you know, if coming in fourth is almost just. You, you you don't sleep at night because no, you because sit there like, damn, one little thing I could have done differently. You again, I will say this: twenty four twenty one. Yeah, that's true. And then we walked one down, like we were down, and then we walked one down. And it was twenty four twenty three. Right. Um. So I mean, so seeing that you have the ability to to be disciplined and hone in and hunker down and, and, and play, yeah. yeah. And you know, when you're down, you're. 23 15 and come all the way back yeah in one mm -hmm. um that says a lot yeah. and then but not only that not to give up when they do tie it up and like i said it goes all the way 31 29 so obviously you saw a lot of good we'll eventually qualify um right oh of course of course you know course. It's, it's but what you're looking at now is when you're in these are you national championship level and that's where you want to clean up those things and say, hey, we really want to be in the mix for that. And that's right. That's the whole premise. It's not just, a, oh, we made open, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. right, exactly. You want to make some know, noise. You want to make some noise. You yeah. want to be in the top two at the end of the day, if, uh, you know, in all great things, top yeah. four for sure. And, and this is what I tell people all the time. Like, every day is different. Oh, yeah, every day is different. Perfect example, Milwaukee Sting was in the same pool as Skyline, beat them. Mm. And so, but then when you come in the gold pool, it, it roles were reversed. Right. So, 
I never, like, I've never been one of those that say, hey, oh, we beat them before. It's irrelevant. Yeah. It's, it's totally irrelevant. Like, people make adjustments. That's true. And then just the way that you may play yeah. um, could be different. I mean, sometimes folks get, get on the roll. Right. They're just hot that one time and, you know. You know. But, yeah. but usually at that point, mm -hmm. all of those teams are, you know, well coached. Right. They got talent. It's just like who's going to make the plays. Right at the right times and who's not going to make that mistake. And so that's just, that's the difference. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a good tournament. Like I said, you, those steam. Right. Because, like you said, it's the first one, so there's no trickle down. Right. Yeah, it's true. There's no got, trickle down. You know, and we had two opportunities right. to, right. to win one game. We hadn't lost two in a row. Right. My, matter of fact, coming to that, we'd only lost one. Right. Um, and that was on day, it was for day two. Day two, right. Yeah. Day two. And, and, and that one went three. Mm -hmm. Or, or it, it went two, but whatever it was. But it, and then and, 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 and the day to get in the goal, right? Uh, well, we were in the goal, but then you had to win two, right? And then you, you know, so you, there's a lot, there's a lot, you know, it's a lot of playing. I, I think that you learn a lot about you. Um, you know, well, the competition's early too. You know, it's uh, you know, everybody, you know, this is like I said, one of the first qualifiers, an early it was, qualifier. It was big. And there was a lot of great teams there too. It was, it was yeah. big. It was and a lot of D one. A whole bunch. Uh, I mean, I, and, and again, I don't know a lot of those, in yeah. those classes. But I, it, mm -hmm. then you find out, like, oh, this kid's going to Wisconsin. This kid's going to right. Stanford. This kid's going to okay. I was like, oh, okay. Um, it's good talent. I mean, and you also know, like I said, those teams and the reputation they have yeah. as well. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Idol Crush even mm -hmm. as always. They just won a, a, some triple team. crown in Colorado or something right. like that. So they were good. Yeah. Uh, I can't take that from anyone. Everyone. Oh yeah, everyone. I mean, when you're playing <laughs> at that level, I tell people, you know, or at least I always think, when you're playing at that level, sometimes it could be yeah, just somebody yeah. got hot, uh, and it just wasn't your day. You know, and, it and, happens, and and like I said, we are seeing. I don't want to say so much. Uh, just ain't nothing different sports too. It's paradigm. I'm looking at basketball the other uh -huh. night. You know, I mean, number one, four, three, five yeah. seeds of fall. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about competition, yeah. and that's where it gets back to the fun of things. I think that uh -huh. now you're spreading. The fact that a lot of teams have competitive people, it gets yep. back to be fun again to oh, yeah. watch and still seeing the same team every time win, win, mm -hmm. win. You're seeing the other, other uh, young ladies in that sport actually grow, so that's good. But yeah, I know it's cold in Minnesota, but uh, warm for them though. Warm for yeah, warm for yeah, them. Yeah, only thirty. Yeah, so, I mean it's weird because they had like some outdoor events, <laughs> right? Like outdoor ice hockey events. Yeah, they couldn't have because it's too warm. Wow. So they canceled like to next year. Yeah. Like, that kind of thing. Yeah, so. it's been, I mean, this weather's like weird, man. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it could have been uh, the brutally cold when y'all, if y'all been there two weeks earlier. Right? Oh, yeah, it was in the negatives. <laughs> yeah, and, and, that's, and that's when you look at it and then you, you see the week as you're going, like, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay, we warmed up 30 degrees. And you know they got all the buildings because they're kind of designed for it. Yeah, and so it really wasn't, it wasn't, um, you know, you're in and out anyway, yeah. so it wasn't. Yeah, it's a nice city, too, you know. It's all, oh, I don't say all that. <laughs> I'm Minnesota, Minneapolis, <laughs> folks. Uh, yeah, nice little I mean, city you know, it, in the winter. <laughs> I, I didn't get a chance to go to Prince's spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, do a little sightseeing other than that. But, exactly. you know, it was, it was volleyball. It was, it was, like I said, it was good it's volleyball. Good. And, no, Minnesota's cool. Man. I'm not what did you see from, um, you know, back to, I'm just thinking about the play and stuff like mm -hmm. that. What are, what are some of the things that stood out? You know, you were there. I was um, Ball control, a lot of really? a lot of the teams, you know, it's like um, so. For instance, like Nebraska won synergy. Yeah, Nebraska won synergy. Yeah, you're right. That's the libero, libero is going to Nebraska. Small okay. kid, but why would you serve to her? That really? kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but then they had okay. other kids that were, you know, picking balls up. So you have some long rallies. Right. Um, you know, so a lot of a lot of those Midwest teams, a lot of those um, in that area. Great ball control. Right. Like in Texas, you're used to physical. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so sometimes a matchup, like it's all about matchups. Oh, yeah. Um, and just, and you know, who you have on your uh, yeah. plate at the time. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and like I said, it comes, a lot of times these games came down to a play or two. Right. That, that tilted it either way. They're, they're, it was close. Oh, yeah. tucked the whole way. Yeah. I mean, just other games I watched. Um, right. Yeah. Some... Like I said, I looked at most of I mean, I was amazed at how many games went three. Yeah. And when I say three, they were close. They yeah, were winning yeah. by two. In, yeah. I mean, it's it was. I mean, even if you had blow out the first one, the second one was real tight. The mm -hmm. third one, then I mean, yep. it went to the other team, and then the third one be fifteen, thirteen, or eighteen, sixteen. It's like wow. It was yeah. And so, the state of the game, mm -hmm. I think that the kids are really, really 
taking their craft serious. Mm -hmm. and I guess the more that you watch, and so you're seeing the quality of volleyball improve. Um, and you really see the difference um, with that, that pe you can tell they've been working. Right. Um, and so then it's about the cohesive units, and, and then it becomes the small things. And I, I'm real observant on how teams interact and stuff like mm -hmm. that, because um, I think all that stuff matters and it's very relative. Right. right. Um, you know, as long as there's nothing, you know, no kind of, because then you'll be like, okay, well, this may be why, if there's right. any kind of little, you know, um, tension or anything like that. But there, you, you wouldn't see any of that. Like, you, these teams are, man, it was, like I said, it was very competitive. Right. All the courts, you know, I got a chance to watch some other games. Right. Um, and kids were giving it their all, qual right. quality, high-level volleyball, good coaching. Right. Um, you know, and it's just like any given day, like who shows up and yeah. – and um, who makes the plays yeah. when they need to make them? Um, and it's you know, like you said, those games were nip and tuck. Yeah. Um, and even sometimes you someone get it, like will jump out mm -hmm. and then get, so we'll we'll walk it down, down and yeah. rally. Yeah. yeah, man. And it's just like okay, game the other team sometimes, man. It's it's, Big it's time, something, man. yeah. And so um, I yeah, where certain the rotation, going? you know, yeah. when then people work on that, then you find out okay, woo, that's a rotation we really struggle in. And, yeah. Things like that. So that's. I mean, it's it's good. I still think for y'all to go in early. Yeah. Well, and that's when you start looking at the little things that you don't do well, and right. then you get in practice. And that's people really, really got to focus and take practice serious. Like the yeah. way you practice is mm -hmm. truly the way you. There's no switch. There's no magic. Okay, because we got a ref, and they flipping the, mm -hmm. the score. No, you really should you work practice your passing, practice right. your blocking, mm -hmm. practice your transitioning, practice your passing. Right. Everything, um, serving everything that right. the game entails, practice that like you're doing it in a game, and then that way the game is easy because you're already doing it yeah. and you're used yeah. to doing it. So it's no mm -hmm. switch that you got to turn on and off. Right. And that's the biggest thing that I would yeah. say you see um, in a difference. And these kids are and so disciplined. Like, out of her crush. Oh, yeah, I mean, think about it. it. You know, I tell people when, you know, you, you start in 12, 13, you kind of figure out where you are. 14, 15, you're really getting serious. By 16, you really kind of sit back. At 16, 17, you're at the cream of the crop because mm -hmm. you, you weed out everybody who really says, I'm not going to do this anymore. Do anymore yeah. And so you're playing against the top competition. And it's fun. These young ladies going to see each other in college together or see each other That's in different tournaments. And they'll know each other, and um, but yeah, it's a pool that kind of gets smaller and smaller. The cream of the crop is the ones that stay. So it's a big it's, it's 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 up, man. And uh, you know, my daughter's playing up as we know, and whoo, the ball, you know, come back. Yes and no, speed. though, because yeah. she's in high school, and they all. Yeah, and I tell true. them all the time, that's true. Same. These kids are all playing together. Once they hit high school, yeah. from ninth to twelfth grade, they're all playing against one another, and so it, it's not a big of a difference. Think about they scrimmage. Yeah, they scrimmage true. each other, that's like true. 16 scrimmage 17s, 15 scrimmage 16s. Yeah. So they're always competing. It's yeah, just that, okay, true. everyone in your age range is is on the same team. Right, right. Um, and but, like I said, too, and, and, but you sometimes have put together these super teams, too. Oh, I, I mean, told, told, you know, it's rarely, you know, in high school, you know, you got oh, no, a few people just doing it for the fun. But, it, it, oh, but no you're part of that, too. Yeah, so, yeah no and, question. And, you, and, I mean... You you got so much talent in Houston, yeah. North Texas, and I yeah. speak for that because we live here. Right. Um, but then you also have you always gonna have a great Nebraska team because yeah. they're gonna have one of the best teams. You're gonna have a great team out of Atlanta, as we know, a five. Right. You're gonna have a few teams out of California, few teams out of Florida. We know where they come from, and you always have a great team from that Midwest, whether it's Minneapolis, Indiana. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, they're always gonna have a good team. But totality. Yeah. <clears throat> Texas and California and Florida overall oh, yeah. got the most. Because, like, those teams, like, for like Kansas, Kansas, you, you probably got three clubs. You got Dynasty, mm -hmm. KC Power, and right. Rams KC. Right. And so, depending on the proximity, yep. all the top kids will Go be divided home. between those three. Yep. We look at Texas. North Texas got about five three, or six yeah, clubs. Yeah, yeah, themselves. yeah, yeah, themselves. You know, same thing Houston. in Houston. Same thing. And then you got San Antonio. Well, and, and then you not know. only that, the, the, even the, 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 "Quote unquote," all the clubs are improving here as well, like yep. and are making like noise yep. and are very competitive. You're, you're not; these aren't just guaranteed wins anymore. Oh no, no, you know not, what I mean? not like, can. You these, can't just show up and the kids there and, and uh, you know coaching comes into it a lot. Mm -hmm. but a lot of times, it's just you got the athletes, you got the training, you got a lot of different. Yeah. If a kid make the kid make a couple of plays mm -hmm. and that confidence, you yep. know, those kids make a couple of plays. Watch out. Yep. It, 
and, and so what you noticed in, in the, the good teams is that the balance. Yeah. That's what I'll say. They yeah. would have balance. No one player, well, somebody just got hot, hot, but no one player. Right. And you got some difference makers, but no yeah. one player, like, okay, there was nothing yeah, you could do shut about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, like, when Skyline beat first alliance, like, mm-hmm. it looked like they were missing someone. Yeah. And they were worried, one person not going to beat you. Right. Like, not when you got balance. Yeah. It just, it, you know, and especially if you got good ball control. And they know, and they know how to compete. Like they, compete. they like to compete and stuff like that. So, yeah. man, that's good. I mean, like I said, I was just trying to get your perspective. Yeah. The first one out, y'all were there, um, like I said, and it was uh, and actually a good field. I mean, y'all yeah. had a good field. I mean, it's still, you know, I think the next big qualifier, I think that, um, you know, it's a couple of, I know the uh, Sunshine is going to be a big one. A lot of teams going to be there. Okay. <laughs> that's gonna be another dog race. Right, uh, that's gonna be yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, go with it. But hey, you know, that's what this season is about. That's what, it's about. That's what you play for, yeah. and it's what the uh, you know these young ladies look for as well. And Absolutely, would be encouraged to see some of these coaches start coming out, starting with Triple Crown as well. Two weeks, so, man. In two weeks, be there. Triple Crown. Two weeks. I can't believe we're well. By the time y'all hit this, we will be in February. But this is thirty first. But mm-hmm. dang, it'll be February and. Um, oh. Man, rolling through this uh, this season as well. But Checking good. them off, man. Checking them out, man. <laughs> but that's good. Uh, like, shout out to, you know, like I said, Skyline yep. and um, um, Steam and Idaho Crush. Getting yep. that bid. Getting that getting that one monkey off your back done. Mm-hmm. It's good to get it off early, though. Bro. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Now you can try a double or triple with that. I mean, triple, you know, you're helping right. everybody else. Won't you stay in there and do well so you can trickle on down? Yeah. <laughs> As well, so we appreciate that. That's as long as you go good. to the right qualifiers. Yeah, right. So at least two of y'all go to Sunshine. Yeah, 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 yeah. All three, shoot. Let them all three go. We need Why to put triple out. Oh, man. Well, yeah. Um, but it, it's, it's it's crazy. And, it, and because it's so competitive, yeah. you've seen where people who've gotten beers don't even make it to the go around. I know, team. right, right. And so you still right, got to fight right, it out. Yeah, you still <laughs> have to fight it out. Yeah, I know, right? They be like, they're out the bottom bank. You're like, come on. I need y'all at least be the top three, four so I can play. Still got to win it out. You got to play. You got to play. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. it's like a volleyball out there. A lot of good teams and stuff. So, shout out to young ladies. Oh, man. man. Yeah. But, yeah. So, with that, man, we um, everybody's in club season. So, parents, you don't, I know you're stressed. Don't edge. And yeah. stuff that season, <laughs> at that time of season, worry about practice and and and. Kids in this way, yeah, man. It's and then you want to yeah. have a me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't. And sometimes it's warranted, though. Don't so. Don't, I'm, not, I'm hey, not being that guy. Meetings, I promise you that. Or have this for purpose. It's absolutely. I know every coach says give us the 24 hour rules afterwards, but you know, yeah. not everybody waits 24 hours. No. Uh, well, especially yeah. when you got some questionable. Like if you've been playing a certain way, right. and then all of a sudden it just looks it's really changed. out of whack. Yeah. You just, hey, let me know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that's where the, you know, when you get to a situation, parents, you're going to have this. Oh, yeah. Coaches are going to have this. And, yep. you know, you'll see this and stuff where, you know, during a tournament, yeah. somebody's not going to be happy, maybe. Absolutely. You know, they don't, you know, they, you know, wondering, hey, what about me? I think I'm playing as good. Right. What's the switch and stuff yeah. like that. And it's hard to, you know, nobody likes to question coaches, right? Right. And, and uh, stuff. Yeah. And I go back to one of my parents who I was telling me, said, man, I don't care if I'm still paying for this. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> We're not in college yet when you give me the scholarship. Right, but right, anyway, right. that's not necessarily my opinion, but it's understandable that, you know, you are paying for it in a sense, and you want your kid to have a chance to compete. So, but it's interesting, some of these, uh, in, I don't know if y'all saw any while you're in there, but, you know, some of these terms you're going to see where parents are going to, Go off on coaches. Coaches may go off on players. Players may go off on coaches. And we've seen that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but everybody wanted to take a whoosh up on it. You know, we, we really we really go always stress mental wellness and healing and all of this. Right? Absolutely. You know, like Elmo Oops. yesterday. Like Elmo, <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing? So we want to know how everybody doing too. So let us right. know. Just how you doing. But understand that there's going to be ups and downs with this. Yep, and, a lot of ebbs um, and flows. And it's a marathon and, and not a sprint. And I think that's a key message, like someone yeah. told me the other day. It's a, it's a marathon, man. And, uh, you know, look at it and take your time with it. But, you know, even coaches and stuff, you know, I think there's a optics part of it when mm-hmm. you look at what's going on in the court and then you look at a parent and, 
you know, I know parents get hot in court. And like I said, sometimes they don't wear their poker face. Uh, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm energizer bunny, so I'm not, I'm, I'm with y'all. I, I get it. I get it. Uh, you know, because you, you want to see your kid play and stuff like that. And you Absolutely. think that they can contribute, right? And you don't want to see them play just because you want to see them. You think they can contribute, right? They, they can contribute. And uh, you try to let the coaches make decisions. But, you know, and coaches, I think, also in this yeah, battle perfect. of trying to figure out, you know, how to position their player in the right spot yep. at times. Uh, they may, but communication is key. That's it. Then we learn that from uh, our wellness uh Participant, yeah, communication is key. Learn. Yeah, communication is key, and with that being able to fact that <laughs> they like the video, <laughs> uh, with the fact that you know, making sure that these young ladies understand sometimes why you're making decisions, right? And I think you can fairly do that even after day one or day two or after a game yep. because it's important to have the communication because they may not understand or interpret something different Absolutely. than what you really were trying to do. What your intent is. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and and also, just like I said, helps to, you know, identify options. When you're in a big gym, trust me, people are watching you, <laughs> and they're watching, they're asking questions. Well, why this person didn't play? Oh, I would have switched the lineup. Oh, why this coach giving this person more, lane, yeah. more lane, uh, leg room than another one or, you know, a lane? Those are all questions, right? And then when you – you know, come into a situation where you just miss. Yeah. You really like starting to say, hmm, wonder if, you know, things like that. Those are real, these are just real questions. Right? Those are real questions. And real things that happen. Real things that happen. So it's how you handle it. And I think that you're right. I think you do have right to have conversations with coaches yeah. when you have something like that going on. But just making sure it's not, and the coach shouldn't take it to brace up as you. At the end of the day, you just want to know why. Yeah. Yeah. If you can fairly tell me <clears throat> why, or if you tell me, hey, my principle is the best person is going to play. Okay, I'm good with that. And what are you basing that on? And if it's and and what you're can't. basing it on? Because I, I understand the stat component. That's that's one component. That, that, yeah, right. That's one. Yeah. But you also watch. Yeah, yeah. And there, you know, there are certain factors that attribute to some yeah. of those statistics. Right. Yeah. Where they go, you know, left or right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or as we would say, north and south. Like you know, sometimes. Right, right. <clears throat> you can be put in a position that, you know, it's like, well, I just had to do something. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, that will affect my statistics. Right. Um, so that's why you do watch film as well. Yeah. Or watch yeah. live watch games to, yeah. to, to determine. You know, mm -hmm. it's not always stature. And then the level of competition. Right. Obviously, the, the better the teams you compete against. Right. You know, your stats may be a little skewed a little bit. Right. You know? um, yeah, as you mentioned, you know, like I said, some of the tougher competition, you might not have the same block percentage you may not have the range saying passing percent because that ball may be on. the other teams are good too yeah you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. that's it yeah and yeah so and just make sure you've tempered yourself before you have those conversations because you don't want it to go in a different direction you really just want to understand well it's a good strategy there. it's a good strategy to call a friend and yep. then to them yep. and then first, go out. Yep. first yep. yeah yep. first or yep. write it down write your little letter your email don't send it don't send it to nobody don't send it to yeah just <laughs> put it in, back to you yeah and just, just type it out yeah. and then let somebody else read it yeah you, you, you yeah. gotta have that yeah. wusa moment because if yes. you do it in the heat because you're oh yeah really feeling however you're feeling regarding mm -hmm. the situation yeah and again i understand it like especially when as it pertains to your child like yeah you know the growth of you will you it'll allow you to be like okay human yeah you know they they, they got a reason right at, at, at minimum mm -hmm. you know you can explain I'm like you know, okay with it or yeah. really explain to them yeah. you know at the end of the day if, if y'all got a, a relationship mm -hmm. you know but if it's a new situation or something like that then yeah we, we all can talk about it right um you know understand because again we understand sports I mean hell if you've ever played any any, any sport before you know sometimes coach they be mad at you about something. You might have right. done something. Y'all, y'all may have had a miscommunication. Hey, won't you sit and think about it? Right. And then we we gonna regroup, and I'm, right. I'm gonna still go back to you like I normally do. So there are different situations, and you allow situations to play out. Um, now, if it's consistent, yeah, yeah, you know, and that's when you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, are we yeah, doing? We're doing you know, it. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 hey, then that's when you go to them. What do I need to work on? Yeah, you know, and you approach it that way. Like, but sometimes you feel it. Do they even recognize that? 
like like when you approach it that way because everyone doesn't have the same intellect and can right. process things the same way right you know comprehension yeah. every or we talk about common sense everyone doesn't have it yeah That's no true. matter what position they're in right. right um and so sometimes people don't comprehend things the same way yeah and That's you kind of got to spell it out yeah like well you know, and that's knowing your, mm -hmm. and again, if it's a new relationship, you yeah. got to figure that out in, in, in more conversations that you have with them. Um, so that, that's the reason, and you can always explain it that way. Here's yeah. why. Yeah. You know, and we just met. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, but think about because in club, yeah. typically you got a new coach every year. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. And so you're dealing with different personalities. Absolutely. So different expectations. Yep. But the other thing is, you know, you had this variable of if you're winning, yeah, why well, change? Well, it's hard to complain. About yeah, it's, no, it's extremely hard. Like, yeah. you, there's, yeah. there's, there's not yeah. a lot to say. Yeah, um, you come yeah. across extremely selfish. Um, you know, if, mm -hmm. if you are winning. Mm -hmm. However, if, if you're winning by margins, yeah, then you know, hey, there's a way. To me, there's enough volleyball that Absolutely. at some point in time, everybody should be able to play. Yeah. to enough to see. And then, like I said, we're Especially talking if you about put me on the team. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm with you. I'm with you. Homie. But, <laughs> 16s and 17s, and a little less than 18s, but 16s and 18s, yeah. and especially girls are still trying to get, young ladies trying to get recruited. Absolutely. Um, visibility is still key. Oh, yeah. And, you know, this, so his parents ask about the fact that, hey, coach is asking about my kid, but I'm not able to, you know, when they're there, they're sitting on the floor. Yeah. I'm like, still sending your film. Yeah, still sending your film. Wherever yeah, it is, and that one, you know, that time that coach may be on the floor, may watch, or you may think, they're not watching right. you. And they're watching and they see are. how you're responding, how you feel, exactly. being a great teammate and stuff like that. And yeah. watching the parents, too. You know, yeah. they look up who you are yeah. and how your face is. So always yeah. wear, yeah. Your, wear <laughs> your smile. Right. Right. No that matter that big you, smile. Yeah, no matter how <laughs> upset you are. You know, <laughs> learned that years ago, too. Oh, man, it's uh, <laughs> it, it's tough, too, because, oh, you know, especially like you're, that, you're highly competitive. Yes. You're top, and you try to, you know. Woo, boy. And I probably was the worst when I was playing sports. <laughs> they were probably. Yeah. Like, you, you, you yeah. always wanted to win. Like, yeah. you hated to lose. Hated to lose. So, yeah, you're yeah, just. Yeah. Even when you understood, like, all right, yeah, this team probably going to whoop my butt. But. But you still, never thought that way. But, and, and, and even then, you want to play your best. Yeah, so you're going to do something that will try and give you an edge, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, get under that person's skin and make them get yeah, out of character. Yeah, yeah. If you know that they, okay, hey, 5 on 5 or 11 on 11. Yeah. They're overall better. Yeah. You get under one of their better players' skin and he act out of character and maybe get removed or something like that or get off his game. Yep. You know, if they don't have that kind of mental toughness, you 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 try and figure those things out. Like yep. give yourself an edge and give yourself an edge. And you just, and you fight through it and stuff like yeah. that. But I know it's hard when these not hard. Just a parent just, you know, <laughs> take your time. Give yourself the 24. Sometimes you might need the 48 hour rule. Just watch it. Hey, hey, let me tell you what you don't like. <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> you pissed off, right? Well, I should say I haven't been that tempted, but I, I can understand where you're kind of mad about scenario, either because you lost, you thought you won, your kid didn't play as much as you thought, or maybe even though your kid skinned up with them, and then you got around that plane home with them. Yeah. Coaches and watch you like pass by, yeah. sit the same aisle with them, and then you're like, you can't say anything. I can't say nothing. No, you gotta wait. <laughs> like, it, it, it's, it, it's burning you. It's burning you. Talk about you it. Yeah. yeah. Everybody trying to avoid eye contact, go and talk about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. But you find that giving yourself 24, 40 hours, it, it's a good rule. Oh, yeah. But it's perspective, but you don't want to lose what you really want to talk about because sometimes in motion, there's some things that want to be. So write down. Write down. But uh, I'm not a big fan of sending emails about what happened because, no, first of all, talking. you give people ammunition to prepare for you. Yeah. To talk about it. Yeah, but, just, about but have your notes. Yeah, have your notes. And, yeah. um, and be consistent with that. So, and like I said, it's a dialogue. It's a dialogue. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, you know, well, the coach is going to do what they're going to do. They are. But right? they're in, in life, in, in you know, work, yep. family, stuff mm -hmm. like that, sometimes you have uncomfortable conversations. Yep. Um, that, but that's how you yep. resolve things. Right. And I, I believe that, I call it care confrontation. You know, if it, you don't resolve anything mm -hmm. if you don't talk about it. And you can't assume that someone is a mind reader and think right, the way that you right, think right, and right. understand what your perspective is. Right. So that's why you have a conversation about it. Right. And as long as, you know, you keep your tone and normal talking voice, <laughs> it should be okay. Or, or your normal talking voice, yeah. which could be different from somebody else's normal it talking about. Nothing. Right? Yeah, it's all how you perceive it, right? Why are you shouting at me? I'm not shouting. It's the way I talk. It's the way I talk. <laughs> 
Oh, bro, yeah, don't look. Oh my gosh, it is. But it yeah, make I know. Country. Hey, yeah. parents, it's, it's 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 we understand because yeah. we're going through it in competitive sports and from high school and club, yeah. and we understand it is going to be a challenge. And we see it not only. And it doesn't stop. When you're in college, you see it's transfer portal. People moving it around. It doesn't end. NIL. You got. It's 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 life is. And you're right in the work environment. Why this person got promoted? I don't know why I do much work. I do much more work than them. So it's it's started at life lesson. Yeah. But like everybody, you want to protect your kids, but you also want to have the best time. And mm-hmm. you gotta get let them go through these through these things. But you know the biggest thing I think comes out of all of this. And we always gonna go back to this is about, you know, mental health. You really want at the <laughs> yeah. end of the day, you don't want coaches right. uh or players yeah. messing with somebody's just mental capacity, thinking that Absolutely. they're not good enough, or for some reason they're doing something wrong when they're really not. Yeah. Or you see it in their play because they're on edge about not making a mistake. Mm-hmm. Things like that. That's a that's a very hard line to just manage. And that's a lot for youth. To, it's a lot, to, to, it's to, a lot for parents. Yeah, to I mean, process because you're trying to, if your kid comes to you and say, you know, I don't know what I, I, I yeah, got to do. Yeah, I, well, yeah. You know, I do this, I do that, I do that. And, and by I'm default, still, yeah. you're going to side with your kid. <laughs> yeah. No matter what, because you kind of understand the same thing. Right, right. And then you're hoping that coaches, how do you then relate that information to the coach without you seeing that? Yeah, oh, you, just you, you try not to have that inherent yeah. bias. He, he, you try and be extremely objective, and you right. try and say, "Okay, I'm I'm going to step back, right? And I'm going to give you the tools to have those conversations. And then, if there's not a change, then maybe mm-hmm. I intercede or something like mm-hmm. that. And it's, there's no right or wrong way. Yeah, it's like you could try it that way, or you could immediately go to it. Yeah. Um, you trying to understand because again, mm-hmm. you're watching what everyone else is watching, right. and as human beings, we have a propensity to look like what well, that. <laughs> you know, I mean, all right, you know, and you understand, you know, some people may have earned the right to have a mm-hmm. really long leash. Right. And some got a short, but I'm like, kids play uptight if they know that, ooh, the minute I do something, I'm, I'm pulled. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, they, they, you know, mm-hmm. they don't play as free. Or they don't see the consistency in it right. either, right? Yeah, yeah. So, hey, guess what? I messed up a couple times. You're pulling me. Right. Somebody else does the same thing. You keep them. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's a mixed message, too. Oh, it, right? Yeah. And it's a fine line. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's what I mean. Like, just explain it. And yeah. I'm like, okay, you know, hey, and either I'm okay with it. Right. And if I'm not, you do something different, maybe, if that's mm-hmm. what you feel compelled to do. Right. Um, it Again, there's no right or wrong answer. We're just... Having yeah, I mean, these dialogue. are just dialogue. <laughs> this is questions we get, yeah. scenarios we see, and yeah. people say, hey, can how you handle this and how you dress it on yeah. the podcast. And like I said, part of this is for y'all to, um, you know, give us feedback, but we also are expressing some of the things that y'all are emailing us about. Right. By yeah. the way, speaking of emails, <laughs> volleyball, <laughs> volleyball Dads Podcast. At gmail.com. Got it. Emails, and then we're on Instagram, too. Yeah, you can DM us as well, we, and we've gotten some. Yeah, uh, with some very good information yeah. and good right. questions, and and on X at V Ball Dad, so yeah. you know we'll, we'll keep that going for now. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, I know, and, right. Uh, right uh, but we won't like, say any names. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we do appreciate the deals. We do appreciate just Absolutely. even us seeing your highlights and stuff yeah. like that. We try to repost as many as you can, uh, as many as we can. People send us football highlights and stuff like, okay, <laughs> we're not reposting those because it's a volleyball dad show. But as a former football player, me and you basketball player, we understand the other sports. But hey, they, they, they want to get the about. content out there, yeah, I know, man. I know, I know, I know. It's a volleyball dad show. Though. You know, and follow us and tell your friends yeah, to follow us. Yeah, keep following us and stuff follow. like that. And, uh, and we're trying to grow our platform. And we'll be on the road a little bit yeah. starting, like I said. Triple uh, Crown. Yeah, be our next real, real big one. And uh, it'll be fun yeah. to see a lot of people there. Yeah, come say hi. Uh, yeah, we'll have our shirts on. <laughs> we will. Volleyball Dad podcast shirts. You'll see We're that. one today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dave has one today. Uh, and we have a group of moms coming on. Uh, we're trying to just schedule it right. And uh, we still got to get a you know, couple of referees on. So we're trying to just schedule people in. It's you know, during the you know season, it's a little bit harder, but we can we can we, we're gonna start having rolling out. And like I said, once again, if you want to be a part of it, we can zoom remotely now. Yeah. And so don't hesitate. Technology is great. Right. right. <laughs> so, well, we had a couple of questions about. Well, we had a lot of feedback about the um, how much you have to pay. Stay to play. Stay to play. Yeah, not pay to play. <laughs> 
<laughs> pay to play for the club. That came out yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. We stay to kinda. play. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, stay to play. And uh, it's fun to get some of y'all feedback about you know, how much y'all spend on parking and food and what you can bring inside the gym, what you can't. Oh, man, we bring get it. Everybody bring a backpack. That's all I have to say. You're right. Bring a backpack. And uh, load it up. Just don't be. Uh, What's that cup everyone likes now? Oh, the, uh, Stanley, oh Stanley. Cup? Everybody got Stanley got Cup. Stanley Cup. Maybe go ahead and bother about that cup. Maybe. I mean, yeah. how come we could. Anyway. Stanley, reach out. Yeah. Put our faces on the cup. Yeah, yeah. Stanley? <laughs> gotcha. Golly. Bother about that cup. Come on. Oh, man. Yep. So that's another uh, opportunity. But uh, yeah, we'll be there. And uh, But yeah, I know a lot of parents are like, man, this day to play the hotels. You know, things are not cheap anymore, too. Flights are more expensive. They're all crowded. They're not convenient to... I don't know why these tournament cities don't tell these airlines, hey, flight says 5, 6 o'clock. Yeah. You know, stop this 3 o'clock flight mess. Or stop gouging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, you know a tournament's coming in, you know, an influx of people, and all of a sudden, you know, there's a $200, 200% markup. Yep. Um, Crazy. And you know people got to pay it. Well, it's bad enough that how much you got to pay again in the gym now? It's still crazy to see my own kid play. I'm still like fifteen dollars a day. Fifteen. Or? Where you get that at? Oh, fifteen a day. Yeah, yeah you're right. Day. Yeah, yeah, a day. Forty five for the weekend, oh. maybe. Um, and you got to pay it. Like it's like you're not gonna not pay it. Exactly. So it's like you know, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Well, we don't stay to play. Twenty five dollar acai bowls. Right, right. <laughs> I didn't even know what that was a year ago. <laughs> I didn't even know how to pronounce it. I call it Aki, bro. Aki. <laughs> Everybody said, no, that's I said, what's, what the heck is that? Yeah, I mean, food. why can't, you know, what how, You know, I'm almost not back. Just go back to the chips and water for me. But uh, anyway, shoot. Well, I know. Hey, and, you know well, the kids can't have a chip. I know, they can have the water. I know. I know, yeah. I know all the health care agents out there, but it's just amazing. It's funny you say that. I still see handsome kids with. Pizza, oh, no. yeah. pretzels, and all that. I'm just yeah. sitting there like Parents. nachos. Come hey. on, come on. That's not that's not good fuel for the. Hey, later on after they're done playing, yeah. but not in between. Not in between, and uh, oh. yeah, yeah. When they go home, maybe grab them. Right. And matter of fact, ice your legs too. By the way, if you get a chance, yeah. if it's 15 minutes, do that. You know? Those ice baths. Yeah. Put the ice in the tub when you're on the go, yeah. and do the ice baths when you're playing three, four games a yeah. day. Yeah. Especially them, yeah, long. You gotta take care of yourself, kids. Yourself, yeah. Parents, rebound, encourage especially that third day. Yes, you know, your back hurt, knees. You gonna be but man? You gotta run to the airport afterwards. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta catch that five fifty flight to five a three forty five. I'm like, come on, y'all, come and, on, Southwest United, and, Air America, and and and, and Delta <laughs> and tournaments. You, know, y'all got so many courts. It would behoove you to go ahead and just move one of those games over if other games are running behind. Know, right. Come on, y'all. Yes. Well, you know what? Then they don't have the official rights. And then, it, it, I heard all the excuses. Well, uh, we don't have official for that game. You've had officials on about a thousand courts. You can hold someone over. They'll take it. They'll take the extra. I loop. promise you. That $20 I'm paying to get in that day. You leave yes. The come around. on, now. You, I mean, like, <laughs> people are trying to fly. Nobody. So you want someone to stay an extra day in another hotel? Right. I just because sure yeah, cause just because you got open court, and don't want to move a, move a game that ran over. Oh yeah, man, it, play, it happens. Supposed to play one and end up playing it four. Yeah, that, it happens. <laughs> that gym where they had water leaking and stuff, and I, I'm looking at four of the courts over there free. I'm like, well, we can just move. Yeah, man. Anyway, come on, tournaments. Yeah, right. Well, we got a few other questions here. Yeah. Uh, I'm, hey, I'm going to just say this is Kevin. I ain't going to give his last name because he may not have <laughs> his last name yet. But, you know, right now we'll just go with Kevin. What's up, Kevin? What's going on, Kevin? D.C. area. So they'll narrow it down, Kevin. <laughs> there we go. But, uh, you know, you asked about, co about camps yeah. and stuff. So, you know, uh, young ladies, camps have been started for a lot of college programs now. They send out their uh, camp schedule for the summer. Yep. And um, you should, you know, pick the ones. I think one that, first of all, it's two loves. If you, if they have very strong interests, right, yep. in your kid, then you may want to consider going to that camp. Yeah, inquire to if you have a recruiting coordinator. Yep, 
have them reach out. Yeah, and have the recruiting coordinator specifically say, yo, is this a camp because you're looking at my kids or is it a camp because you just need Ching ching. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to say that. <laughs> and they, none of them are going to admit that, right? <laughs> but I want to know if you really look at kids. So that's, that's one way to kind of differentiate where you're going to go. Yeah. The other one is if the camp you think is going to improve their skill, and it's maybe a school they're interested in, and that's a, that's a chance. I always tell people, you don't know where or who is going to recruit you. Absolutely. Go on do. But I wouldn't go to two, more than two or three a year uh, in the off season just because they get burnt out. I mean, volleyball season is so long. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it three? Is it four? I mean, I don't know. I just think you need to be reasonable with it. If you can drive to them, great. But if you're trying to fly all across the country and – Go to camps back and back. Some, yes. One, you don't, might wear yourself out, and two, it, it just becomes frustrating. Yeah, so. I mean, because uh -huh. you need your you time. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, there's no right or wrong answer. If it's somewhere you think you're interested in, yeah. um, and, and they're interested in you, and you mm -hmm. can get the, the, the feedback from your recruiting coordinator, like they're going right. to say so much, like, right. yeah, no, yeah, but they'll tell you. Yeah. Um, then by all means, if that's something, yeah. go. Yeah, or, if, you know, if they've sent emails to the, or responding to email, followed you, or like I said, sending them to a recruiting coordinator, that's great. Um, and at these coach, at these camps, you can somewhat talk to the coach. You're not going to have no long conversation with the coach unless, like, once again, you never want to on their radar. Uh, but you, you you'll know, know that. that you'll know that. Yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll know that. A lot of court they put you on and, and, and yep. group you and stuff like that. So you'll, you'll know. You'll have an idea. Mm -hmm. Um you know, and I mean, again, sometimes you, you go and you figure out, oh, that's not somewhere I want to be. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's, it's or you know, you no, send an invite out and then you find out everybody got the invite. <laughs> which is, again, which you was gotta keep the lights on. So, yeah, right. um, so that's why you want to ask a little, little right, dollar right, deeper. Right, so, right. You know, hey. And we are dealing with young ladies, so they yeah. can change their mind. I, I just say that boys won't, but, you know, see, like, you know, they can change their mind and whim. My daughter one day, oh, I want to go to and then I'm like, I don't go up there. I'm like, okay, all right, let me see if I get my money back <laughs> after you told me that's where you wanted to go. Because uh, these, hey, these camps aren't cheap. And like I said, you got to travel. And then you got to spend the night if they're not, you know. Got to stay the night. So that's food. That's I went to college. They had, they had a camp for five nights straight. Wow. I mean, you have to go to each one of them. Right. But they were like, I'm like, do people stay? I thought well, that's a local camp. It got yeah. me because you, <laughs> and they're not housing you no more. By the way, a lot of these uh, places won't house that's you. Anymore. That's correct. Yeah, so they don't want to take these extra liability, or they refurbish it. Or it could be a lot of reasons, but you know now you got to look at hotel stays and all that stuff to to be. And even if you don't, you stay in a hotel because guess where your daughter's on campus. Yeah. And if you stand up there, you're in a hotel. Um, so it depends. I think with the camp thing though, if you're at the recruiting age, which is, I mean, starting about 15, 16, and 17s, yep. I think you need to be very discerning about which ones you go to. Talk to your recruiting coordinator, like you said, about what makes sense as far as, hey, is this school really interesting? Yeah. And two, is this a school that I'm likely to get recruited at? So if you go, go at 14s or 15s. At 14s? Well, yeah. Or yeah. 15s. Yeah, I think you I wouldn't go with, at fourteen. Yeah, I wouldn't go with like once you hit that June fifteenth mark. Yeah, as a sixteen, I wouldn't go. You want to go to me. camp? No, nope. why not? Once you hit the June June fifteenth mark, yeah, and they can bring you for a visit starting in August. Oh, okay. okay. I wouldn't go. Okay. So then that I mean, you know, you've watched me play enough qualifiers, um, or whatever. So if you're interested, bring me up on a visit. Now, that's interesting because there's a lot of camps that first week of June. Sure is. Probably for that reason. Yep, like, that's exactly see, why. So, if you want to come out and. I did my thing in qualifier. Okay. Well, I like, boy, listen. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, Dave. <laughs> hey, just, I mean, you know what? I mean. I think you have to. Now, once again, I don't think you should go everywhere. No, but. And so, and, and that's, the, that's the kicker because yeah. everyone. I think at that point. Yeah. I mean, they're like, they salesmen at that point, too. That's like, true. hey, yeah, we're interested. Yeah. You know, they, they want to get that hard look on your dime. Right. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, and I'm like, 
if that was the, like once we've been talking and that interest was there and you come to Triple Crown, you come to mm-hmm. whatever qualifiers I've been to, you see me four mm-hmm. or five times, then you saw me again at, or going to see me again at Nationals. Mm-hmm. Like, if anything, like, well, okay, so maybe go in June, but anything after Nationals? Right. No. Oh, yeah. You saw me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've seen you know, me. You yeah. know, and so, and so, so no. And then not only that, you want to save yourself because you've been playing a lot. Yeah. Again, we, we go back to that. And, 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 and in Texas, high school ball starts on August 1st. And you play about 50 games yeah. with tournaments and all that. Yeah. Like, we play more than anybody yeah. else. Yeah. Unless so, you're probably going to play a lot. Right. But, <laughs> but, public but, but you're right. Lot. Yeah, you play a lot. But I'm saying you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. After June 15th. Yeah. You, and then nationals. Yep. Yeah, you take a pause. Yeah. And you're right. Somebody wants to just, especially right now, they you got to unload unlimited recruiting. Yeah. And, and, you, and not that you want to go everywhere because you got to go to school. No. So <laughs> you got <laughs> you good film. Time send, yeah. you, send you, send you 35, 40 seconds of your, your, mm-hmm. your film, your bio, and all that kind of good stuff. Yep. Because that's all they're going to look at because they get so many. Right. Um, if they're really interested, they're going to look. If they're not, they're not going to look anymore. Yeah. And, and, I, and speaking of film, that first 30 seconds is the probably most important. I mean, your True. best close to being 30 seconds. I mean, yeah, you got one minute, two minute reel. Ain't nobody sitting there looking at those that long. But because I've had, well, the first 30 seconds. <laughs> just, keep, <laughs> just keep it simple. Yeah. <laughs> that if you can make an impression that first 30 seconds, yeah. I mean, they'll look again. Yeah, but, for sure. You know, they're not trying to sit through two minutes even no. of you. Yeah. And, so, because and, uh, after a while, it gets repetitive. Yeah. I mean, it's so many things you're going to do in a two minute time frame. Absolutely. Like, that ain't the same thing you just did before. Oh. So, set up your NCAA numbers. Yep. All that stuff, all your recruiting stuff should be in yep. as well. So, and, uh, but yeah. So, just to recap, talk to your recruiting coordinator. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure somewhere you want to go, have them to ask, hey, is this real interest or, hey, it's just you yeah, know, normal yeah. camp invite. Right. Um, and, and you're going to know. I mean, you're going to know. You're going to know because they're going to make an indicator make it known. That to, to your recruiting coordinator. Yeah. And, they and then, like I said, you're right. After June 15th, they really, if yeah. your kid's in the you know, 16s, yeah. the sophomore year, um, but then even as a 15-year-old, they're going to see. And if you just went to camp last year and you're on the flyer to come back next year, guess what? you just part of that uh, email train. Uh, yeah. So, you know, once again, if they're not really express interest in you. But, so, but I would say younger kids, 14s, younger. Yeah, I would I mean, stay local. I mean, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I would really no, travel no, to I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, Unless you you're a, a true female, I mean, you know. But and even you know, then, fourteen might not be one yeah, sixteen. That's true. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would stay local. That's my advice. Yeah. So like, just stay local where you can drive to and come back, stay at home. Yeah, and just to have that experience back. and see, you right. know, see kind of what it's like. Exactly. Um, exactly. Fifteen, you know. Yep. Um, but once again, once you're on that clock, nah, like, you know, we get them. And again, everybody's situation different. I'm like, but what? Yeah. Like, you know, you're, you're at that place now. Like, right. it's not that serious. Like. I don't need to give you any more. If, 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 if you came and watched, you know, you can see what you can work with and, and, right. and can, hey, this is something we can work with or it's not or whatever, right. and you leave it at that. Right. Um, I don't foresee, this, and I don't care how high, like at June 15th, when they're reaching out to you, mm-hmm. you ain't got to go to camp no more at that point. That's a, I think it's a waste. Yep. That's my personal opinion. Right. But I just think that you're giving them an opportunity to get a, a deeper look when they've watched. Like, they go to those courts. Right. You know, they, they got their little things. Bad, they got their staff, athlete, all, that all that kind of stuff. stuff set up. They're and going you to send those courts. Film, you, you bring them out to you, right? So they're going to the courts. They're looking at you. Yeah. I got you. You know, if you, if you, you know they got their, their, their 20 or so, mm-hmm. you know, that they got on their radar, you know, and then, and then they, and they got assistance and everybody's going to different right. places and everything. Mm-hmm. And they'll go back and they reconvene and, and put notes together and, you know, and we know they make mistakes all the time because yeah, kids I mean, develop at different times. Different frames. times, and then, like I said, the kid that they missed on, or like, and that's why transfer for is someone so active. I mean, it's, it's active, but it ain't too too active. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, you know, some of the top top kids are getting moved around, but it's fine. Find a place that you're happy. Yeah. At. Uh, you unsigned well, seniors I yet? Yeah, you're inside <laughs> seniors too. Don't fret. Nope. Still, there's people opportunity. Still committing and people right are now. still committing and signing. I can pull and it up. Right. Yep. It's legit. It is. And so Great um, schools too. And don't feel like something different about you just because, hey, well, I've learned. And I Run think your we, race. We both learn. Yeah. The college experience is great. Yep. And 
you know, you're going to make some lifelong friends yep. in right development, and it's going to be help you in the rest of your career. Yeah. So pick the school that is going to put you in the right space. And yeah, where you can take full advantage. Right. Not part of all time. That's not what that means. No. But that means that you go have fun, but you're going to learn, but take also. full advantage. It is. It, it, it's and when somebody else pay the bill. That's what I'm when you saying, guys start paying them bills. Take full advantage. <laughs> it's go, a whole different take story. Take as much as you can. Go as long as you can. If they're, they're yeah. saying you can come to the summer, you go to the summer. Yep. You know, so if, you, if you're going... And whether you're on quarter system or, or semesters, if you can go and they say we want you to come every summer, you go every summer because if you can knock it out in three, yeah. Um, do that if you can be real smart about it. You possibly look at something where the 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 prerequisites are close, and you can mess around and get two out of it. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean you can you can do double major. You can. Uh, if you're uh, smart about it. Yeah. <laughs> grad school. I mean, you know, you might get the grad school education paid for. You can get out of there in three. Yeah, you definitely three. Can. Yeah. So <laughs> things are changing, though. But, you know, because. So be smart about it. Take full advantage of it. Be smart though. about it and, and, and just enjoy it. So. I'll enjoy it. Because it goes by quick. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Some of you ladies have been playing since nine, some since 12, yeah. 13. And then now it's almost over. I know. You know? Can you imagine? It's yeah. been eight, nine years sometimes of just playing volleyball mm -hmm. and doing some stuff. And, but hopefully having fun. And you are. Have fun. Yeah. It. Don't get frustrated about it. Remember, keep your mental balance. Absolutely. And mental health about it. And if we realize, like, just in life, like, just me and Dan going through stuff just in life in general, yeah. you're going to you have good days and bad days. And people ask me, I say, I've learned to just have a balanced day. Yeah. You know, yeah. that everything not going to go my way one day, or maybe yeah. that moment. Yeah. Then that later on that night, I'm going to have a great time. Yep. My Baltimore Ravens didn't win. I'm pissed. <laughs> but Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, that's okay. Bang, bang. You know, but. Bang, bang, you know, bang. Come on, <laughs> damn. Come on, LaBar. But anyway, um, you know, Super Bowl's a good time. People going to have fun. And guess what? He going to have fun. Yeah. He gonna move move on from this and ready for next year. Yeah. And that's what I do. I mean, you just got you get a chance to fight the next day and do the next thing. And and same thing whether in school you can have a bad day, have a bad grade. That's what next day you just come banging out. Just move on. Life is too fun to not just enjoy it. Yeah, and, control and, the control. And, yeah, and don't get stressed out about stuff, y'all. It's too many people getting stressed out for no reason. It's not that important. Even I said volleyball is still it's not that important. Yeah. It's still a sport, just like everything else uh, right, in life. But we're going to enjoy it. But while we talk about it, get your butt out there and work on it. No. <laughs> no, no, you got, yeah, I mean, you, you're doing it. Do, 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 the, best it, do the best you can. Yeah. Just enjoy it. But like I said, don't stress out. I know. About That's that balance, huh? That's that balance. <laughs> like, yeah. But also, it's like, that, mean don't, that doesn't mean don't go, go compete. Don't mean don't go work hard. Don't go and practice hard. Don't go and give it your all. It's just that once you've done that, just realize, like, I did the best I could. I did the best I could. Yeah. Well, we thought about that as we did the best we could today, too. I know, right? All right, as well. i uh, love to hear from you all. So, don't forget to DM us, uh, send us via, you know, X, uh, Instagram, or email. We appreciate those of you who are listening. Yeah. Not only in the U.S., across other countries. We're, yeah. we're really excited about that. And uh, we will definitely have uh, more fun stuff to yeah. talk to you about next week and after Triple Crown and yeah. as these qualifier season goes on. But we look forward to it. But if you have any questions, let us know. And we're going to get these moms on. Yeah. So, we, you know, we're trying to schedule our moms. You know, y'all difficult to get together. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get, we want to hear from some moms and uh, some players, too. We yeah. got some players on. Yeah. So, you know, players, you want to come on? Uh, we'd love to uh, have groups of different players seek different perspectives as well. Yep. Yeah. And All share right. the podcast. Share the podcast, y'all. We got to get our big ramp. We want to hit. We want to get to a thousand consistent viewers, and then yeah. after that, we can start, you know, being national. Yeah. <laughs> we are national, sure. I forget about that, but, you know. We're on all platforms. iHeart. Yep. Apple, Spotify. Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to the podcast. There you go. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, we are, uh, I think we just out, D. We out. All right. Holla, Peace. Y'all. Peace. Yeah, man. Your boy was like, what's going on? I said, man. <laughs> I don't know. He said, man. I didn't realize, like, she didn't put the bro. I mean, she put over, but she didn't start no more. Two and three. Day two and three. I mean, I don't know if it made a difference. Right. But when you come that close, yeah. you wonder.
Alex said, I ain't got a dog in a fight. But I also told him, 